Hello, Assalamualaikum. We meet again. Good morning to all of you. As we already know, last week we already did antonym. Antonym is mainly for paper one. And today, let's write. Let's do something else. What is it? Let's write a simple essay. Okay. Today, I will show you how to write a very very simple essay but you will get a good marks inshallah write a story based on the pictures below you may use the words given to help you write your answer in the space provided your story should be 80 and 100 words as and remember do not exceed 100 words if you exceed 100 words, unfortunately, I need to minus your marks. Kalau lebih 100 perkataan, maka awak terpaksa ditolak. I'm sorry. This is the rules. Okay, as we already do did and always did, let's study the picture. Mari kita formkan urutan cerita mengikut urutan gambar bina satu cerita yang sesuai create a, a good storyline ok now I give you around 10 seconds maybe to study and I hope you will create a very simple storyline no need to do extravagant storyline just a simple one I believe all of you already study and let's create a storyline. This is my opinion. What is a good what is storyline for these pictures? For those pictures, sorry. Pada suatu hari, Siti nampak bracelet rantai di kedai. And dia pun mengambil keputusan untuk menyimpan duit Sapu dia lebih ke dalam piggy bank. She decided to collect his her extra money to the piggy bank. And after a few weeks, she already has enough money, a lot of money to buy the bracelet. Dia dah selepas beberapa minggu dia ada sudah dapat banyak duit. Then she decided to buy the bracelet and give it to her mom. Okay? Itulah storyline apa? Apa mari kita ulang semula? Siti nampak bracelet di kedai. Dia simpan semua duit pocket money dia ke dalam piki bank ataupun tabung ni. Dan bila dia dah cukup duit, dia pergi beli bracelet tu dan give it to her mom. Okay? And remember, this essay are in past tense. Past tense, okay? Bukan present tense. So, jangan sesekali silap. Okay? So, they already provided some words here. And I want you to decide. Okay? Wait, wait. Mari kita nombolkan. Mari kita bahagi-bahagi. Mengikut gambar. Okay? The first word, give. <coughs> Mother's Day. Bracelet decided extra pocket money, money box, safe, bought, surprise, proud. So, okay, give is number one, picture number one, mother's day is also number one, bracelet also number one. Okay, decided maybe number number two, extra pocket money number two. Money box, gambar nombor Save Okay, ni gambar nombor 3 Ni juga Ini yeah, hmm, gambar nombor 3 Oops Why I can't write here Okay, ni gambar nombor 3 Sorry 
Bot juga gambar nombor 3 Feature nombor 3 Hai Hai Bot is also feature number 3 I just put it in okay. Surprise feature number 4 Proud feature number 4 Okay Why be like this? Okay. Okay. So you already bahagi kan semua perkataan ni ni tu gambar dia. Okay. So let's move to the next. Let's find suitable verbs for those pictures. You may refer to the blue file given. Okay. As you know, setiap gambar itu awak akan tulis. Awak kena menggunakan sekurang-kurangnya 3 atau 4 verb kata kerja dan saya awak I want you to refer the blue file given. Okay, this is the these are the pictures. These are the pictures. Sorry. These are the These are the pictures of the file that I already gave you. Okay? Dalam ni ada banyak verb yang awak boleh gunakan untuk karangan kita pada hari ini. Picture 1. Paragraph 1. Okay. Apakah verb yang sesuai? Okay. Biasa. Yang pertama. Was. And then. Saw. So. And then, apa lagi? Try to think. And then, I will give one felt. What is felt? Rasa. Okay. So, let's number. Was is number one two saw three felt and then right on uh, put inside here the verb according to number was saw felt so let's try okay was you can write it was It was Mother's Day. Then, Siti saw a bracelet. Siti saw a bracelet. She felt so happy. Okay, so let's use the word gift. Kita tambah lagi dua verb, iaitu wanted in number four. Okay, wanted. You can say she wanted to buy it as a Give full stop. Enough. This already enough for paragraph one. Okay, let's read again. It was Mother's Day. City saw a bracelet. She felt so happy. She wanted to buy it as a gift. Okay, let's move to the next picture. Picture 2, Paragraph 2 Okay Before this, we already decided that there is one word already given What is it? Decided Okay Let's try What is it? What is a suitable verb here? You can add decided Uh
put and then yes was let's number it okay decided i think number one put number three three uh sorry put number two was is number three let's put here decided put and was okay so she decided to use her extra pocket lover sorry money she decided to use her extra pocket money okay she put the money sorry into the money money box okay full stop don't forget full stop and then you can say about her feelings she was so happy okay the tiga verbs are enough next picture three okay what is the suitable verb okay so let's look at the blue file you can refer to the blue file what is it okay. see me myself i'm referring to the verb Yes, you can use again same verb beside that. Decided. You can say collected. And the last one was. Decided is number one. Two was. Okay. Decided. Okay. You can say one day city decided to open her money box and then she collected She collected all the money in it. Okay. And then she was so happy. Yeah, you can add another one. When? About the when? When is per pergi? She went to the shop to buy the bracelet okay okay i'm sorry is it too fast uh -huh. next one the last one picture four okay this is the last picture you can say that city already Bought. This is the first verb. Yes, was ataupun were. So because it's only one person, one person. So you can say was ataupun. You can use both. Okay. And I saw that uh, in the words given, uh, proud. So you can say that. And okay. So that's all.
Let's number it. Okay, what I think number one was ataupun were number two and felt is for number three. So right here, bought was or were felt. Okay, you can say city bought the city bought the bracelet. And then, uh, as you know that the words already given from the beginning is surprise, kan? Surprise before ni, kena put was ataupun were. Okay? So, you can say, Siti bought the bracelet. Oh, sorry, you can add another one. Sorry, I'm sorry. Gay. Okay, so let's find the eraser here. I'm sorry, I think the... Okay, sorry. Okay, give actually is number two. Was at the word is number three. And felt is last one. Four, sorry. So, give. Give is bar. Bagi. Was at the And this one, felt. So you can say here, she gave her mother. The breast that we stop. Her, who was surprised? Her mother. Her mother was surprised. Her mother was surprised and her mother felt so proud with city. So that's all. Finish. Okay, this is our my version. Okay, it's a very simple essay, but I think. Is good enough for you. And let's rewrite. Write in your essay. This, as you know, as kita buat biasa saya dah jawab. Mulakan karangan dengan this is a tissue is to have or she is a good girl. Okay? Kenapa? Sebab satu ayat ini, sorry, satu ayat ini, dia akan memberi awak sekurang-kurangnya dua markah percuma. Okay? And let's continue with paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph 3, paragraph 4. Semua ini kita dah, dah buat, dah buat tadi. So, saya harap awak boleh buat semula dengan menggunakan version awak semula. So, that's all for today's lesson. And as you know, our essay for today is about Mother's Day. So, I already show you the steps how to write a very simple essay but a very good marking. And I hope... You will redo this essay using your own version. Okay, you can remember storyline, create characters, and remember for each picture, write at least three or four verbs. Okay, and I really hope that you can pass up this work by tomorrow night, maybe before 8 o'clock. Or 9 or 10 I don't mind as long as you pass up to me see you again and I hope you are doing well at home that's all for today thank you